All right, so I was waiting for you to say Doom Son, but you didn't. Doom Son. Ah. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, game one of Titans versus James. Hey, you go, man. Take us through your list. Uh, I've got a Wraith Knight with bare bones just here, then a Wraith Knight with a Sun Cannon and a Scatter Laser. It's a uh, grey and black guy? Yep. <laughs> um, then I've got a Beast Pack, uh, Baron, two Farseers, uh, one of them has a Shard of Anaris. And you, got... you want to tell the viewers the unfortunate news? Yes, I did not get Fortune, so that sort of sucks. <laughs> uh, All right. um, I got two um, Serpents, standard loadout, Scatter Lasers, Shrink Cannon, no Holofields though with two five man dire avengers. Cool. Um, Sky Shield obviously, then in reserve I've got my bikes and five Cadillac Warriors. Excellent, and here are my big boys. Just waiting to eat face. Some carnies and... Just pretty much an entire swarm just going, I want to go kill. Um, and I got 30 Gaunts in reserve and two more locks. All right. Alrighty, so versing James and his what is it called? Beast Pack Star? I call them Doom Sons. Ali calls them Death Stars, but that's crazy. Anyway, um, getting into the game here. This was an interesting game. I definitely think it's a great matchup for the Tyranny player um, because we've got Psychic Defense um, with the Shadows of the Warp. And we are pretty good at assaults, so, you know, doing multi-assaults and then, you know, um, charging them off, what's it called, uh, doing the big sweeping advance and all that type of stuff, doesn't really affect the Tyranids too much, where, you know, all fearless, <laughs> it doesn't make it too much of a difference um, to us. I, I am making sense, I believe. Anyway, um, I got first turn. Um, James, uh, my opponent, helps me with moving some of my Gaunts. Very, very helpful. Uh, James didn't actually get Fortune. So his Farseer didn't get Fortune. And he didn't get first turn. And so he made a little bit of an interesting decision in terms of you know, model placement. And he had Baron up front. And when you're playing you know, a little Carney star thing where you've got 30, I think it's 36 strength 6 shots. Putting your Baron, which is a Toughness 3, yes, he's got two fast and vulnerable, but Toughness 3 right out front, not the smartest thing to do, uh, in my opinion. Um, and so he failed a couple of lookout sirs, then failed his 2 plus save, Baron died. Uh, also, his um, Beast Pack had Razor Wings, and so the lookout sirs, because he didn't place them perfect, like the best that they could be. Um, look went on to Razor Wings, which instant killed them. So you can see the turn one happened, and half his Beast Pack died. Um, he then didn't change, I guess, his tactics in any way. Um, after that happened, he was just headlong. Let's multi assault as much as as uh, much as possible. And I don't know if that really worked because um, when you as as all my opponents saw, when you charge into the Dacafexes, three of them in, in fact, they hit almost as much, <laughs> almost as much on the Overwatch. They're, it's crazy. I think I killed half of the remaining models on the Overwatch when he charged my um, Hive Tyrant and the three Dacafexes. Because um, that's four times two, well, four times two times six Strength 6 shots all tween length. Um, so marvellous stuff. Um, my turn 2, I'm just taking out Wave Serpents. I said, no, nah, I've got to go for Wave Serpents right now. Um, but I get all my Morlocks on, and I did something I thought, I thought a little bit well, tricky, but also very risky, in that I wanted to get my Carnifexes out of combat. And so I Morlock struck up, just so it hit the guys in combat. And if it had scattered anywhere near, like, towards my army, it would have maybe caused, like, six wounds on my Carnifexes or killed a whole bunch of Gargoyles. So very, very risky. However, it didn't, and it hit, killed all of his um, things that were in combat with my Carnifexes. And because I couldn't consolidate within three, because um, the, the rest of the combat was on the other side of the wall, out of line. So I think actually I was in the, just a challenge with the last guy. Um, anyway, 
I was out of combat, and I, I think the way we're playing, and I got a double check with Adam and Tio, um, they're out of combat, so I could then move them, which was great because then I got them out of um, combat. I then shot them straight into the wave serpent, destroyed that, flew my other hive tyrant behind the other wave serpent, killed that. Uh, my other Morlock scattered completely off in the wrong place. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's me just now cleaning up, preserving um, points in terms of like um, how many of my models are dead. Venom Throw kept keeping most of my army enshrouded, doing a lot of work here. Um, the Gargles, it was very good focus fire here by James, um, splitting out so there was only two Gargles against his um, big guy, so he could pass his blind check, and then I would still have to be in combat with the him, and then, you know, like he wouldn't be blinded until, you know, a turn or two. Very, very good. Um, for the top, of, um, top part of his army where he's got dive engines and stuff like that, I'm just taking care of business, killing off um, the rest of his army. Down here, with on the left hand side with my Warlord Hive Tyrant, I'm just doing Benny Hill style, ch um, charging after the, what's it called, the jet bikes, all the jet bikes. Um, his, was it, five um, Dark Elder Warriors come on, they're trying to kill my um, Warlord, and I believe they do, we'll see that in a moment. Uh, yep, so they killed my Warlord, but I still got another um, Flying Hive Tyrant coming in. And, as I said, just similar to Benny Hill, just running around trying to get him. Um, doing some pot shots with the Heavy Bolters from the Bastion, the um, Miasma Cannon from the Turvagon. Uh, I am sur absolutely surrounding every other three, oh, well, two objecti objectives that I can hold. There's another one down at the bottom here. Uh, bottom left hand side, so I'm making it so his jet bikes can't fly onto, um, you know, within three inches of the objective. So you can see here, everything's fearless, everything is just held, and I'm just trying to kill these um, silly jet bikes. Uh, he gets down to one jet bike and one Dark Elder Warrior, uh, but I get the full points um, by 60. I, I almost table him, so but I still get the 20 points. All right, very good game.